Everybody's doing something. We'll do nothing. I think I might be able to help with a Pan Pam dilemma. The price is wrong, bitch. Wait, wait let, me, let me explain something to you. I am loving this. Mama said that alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth but no toothbrush. That frog really tied the room together, did it not? You are a smelly pirate hook. That guy in a little coat. Coming to you live from the man cave just outside Burlington, Vermont, in cozy Essex Junction, oh, yeah. the superior town. How you darn? Local big time show. Sam, Jesse, coming to you. I'm already fired up early this morning. Uh, two things. Number one, um, I fucking hate humidity because every time oh I pull a drink out of the fridge, I got a fucking puddle here on my desk because of all the water droplets that are like hovering outside the can. Yeah, I got a bone to pick with just general plastic. Okay, because, <laughs> you know, every Start time wars. I'm, we're big ice guys. Okay, yeah. I'm a big ice guy. Big right? ice Put guy. Put ice in everything. Yeah. And anytime you're an ice drinker, okay, the cup is always going to create the puddle. And you're sucks. telling me, you're telling me they can't make a plastic that won't bleed the water through? Like, come I, on! Is there any on? technology People... out there that that uh, allows you to just enjoy a drink where I can cup it and my whole palm's not wet? <laughs> These motherfuckers are out here creating robots that are going to take over humanity, and they can't create a cup <laughs> yeah. that doesn't drizzle me some water. Are you, you kidding me? Guys? AI that can just create creating humans out of thin air. Yeah. And you can't give me a cup that can't have humidity and on the buddy, side. I gonna have the fucking drink ring for the rest of my life. No <laughs> I just Are you hate it. the coaster. How that was the best thing you came up with. The coaster. How bad is it? And and the, you know the worst part about the coaster is it's after it can't even take the water. It just becomes like a mushy handle. like yeah, cardboard. Exactly. You ever the seen when cardboard gets wet? Right. Yeah. Here's even cardboard gets wet. It's just that like mushy yeah. paste. Yeah. That fucking gross no, shit. This is bullshit. And if the coaster is metal, then I got to wipe the coaster off. Yeah, right? then it's constantly the has, has that fog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How bad is it? In, how bad is it in Georgia with like the humidity? Like when the you, worst you've ever seen. Like when I like pulled the can out, out this morning, it I was like sweaty. This morning at 7 a.m. Yeah. For a walk. I didn't even go for a jog this morning. I went for a walk, right? Just like a 45 minute walk. Yeah. And I, like, Three minutes in, sweat, already sweating, 7 a.m. <laughs> Humidity level, 200%. 200%. How about when in school, when it's so humid and you like put your arms on the table and the papers just stick to you? Like you can just feel the water in the air. <laughs> I guess that's what humidity is. <laughs> George is brutal. How about, this is my other little uh, nugget that's got me fired up early this morning. It's fucking 2023, and I'm struggling to get service in areas still. We've had cell phones for, like, 20 years. Figured, like, figured out. You know you need coverage everywhere. Again, everybody's talking about overpopulation, and everybody's talking about robots that are going to kill us. Yeah. And we can't get service it, in Vermont. You know how, you serious? It's such bullshit. You know how, you, it's just such fucking boys. Like, for starters. Buddy, I got news for you. Nobody wants to live in rural areas, okay? Yeah. There's plenty of space. <laughs> There's and now, plenty of space. Yeah, yeah, seriously. And now with, like, like you need your phone. Like, you can't live without it nowadays. I've tried. Everything connects to the stupid fucking thing. I got to use it for everything. And then the cherry on top is... If you try to get rid of technology, like in total, they're like, "Oh, what's your password? We'll send you, we'll send you the code." You're like, "I don't have a phone." <laughs> yeah, guy, there's like a 200 stretch of mile stretch of Maine that doesn't None. even have humans in it. Yeah, I that know, doesn't right? have human people. Closest thing to Alaska. <laughs> yeah, it's called like Territory 497, Territory 562. <laughs> they don't have Just numbers. names. There's no name. Yeah, there's no name. We should go there and be like the mayor of that town. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, the mayor, there is no town, Sam. This is what I'm telling you. There's like nothing. <laughs> Crazy. And now for something completely different. Uh, I got a quick question for you. I was listening what? to a podcast with Tom Holland, 
Yeah. Pretty, pretty awesome. I uh, didn't know he's a huge golfer, like golf fanatic. Oh, he's big into the golfing thing. Yeah. He's got like a handicap at two, which is really good. But yeah. my question to you is, do you think it's harder for a British person, British person to do an English USA accent or an USA English accent doing a British accent? Man. The I real like answer. We always do British accents. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. The <laughs> real answer is that it really is person to person. But if the general answer, I would say the general answer is that it's hard for American people to do English accents than for English people to do American accents. You think so? As the general. Yeah, as a whole. Yeah. As I always whole. find that like people, you, you see it too all the time. People just like rip out like an English accent every once in a while. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. The American accents, right? Yeah. Like all of them combined because there's like 15 of them in different areas, right? Yeah. The, the language is heavy and brutish. Okay. Meaning yeah. like you're, you're the way you're talking is, is heavy and it's like you're hitting vowels harder, right? Like yeah. R's and E's and R's and R, 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 right? Like the English language, French, Spanish, it's lighter. It's like lighter in your mouth, right? <coughs> like je m'appelle, it's like, it's more delicate. Yeah. Right. So I think it's harder for somebody who has a brutish mindset of dialogue to go into a lighter mindset of dialogue. Then the guy who has the lighter mindset, he can just ramp it up and go into the, the brutish, I yeah. think. I was but, amazed. I, I mean, didn't that's know just that guy was English at all. But that's just a general. Answer. I, I really do think it's person to person because I've seen some English guys really struggle and I've seen some American people really <laughs> struggle. I like yeah. when they try to when they have the the movie that's based out of Boston, and you get all yeah. the fake Boston accents. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Park your car in the yeah, house. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just like run into the accent so hard. Oh, they just struggle because like they'll start out the first two sentences, they'll crush it. And then they'll go back to speaking like normal. <laughs> hey, look, anybody can say who one, are two, you? Five. Yeah, Michael, have time. you seen any of Try the cars doing nearby? Any <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. like, hey, who are you? And we yeah. need more people here so that way we can all <laughs> yeah, arrange exactly. things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you switched up your accent. <laughs> There's a guy who breaks down like the departed, which is literally like every Bostonian <laughs> thing. They like rate like half of them are like from Boston and she's rating their accents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, oh, there are a lot of actual massachusetts people in that movie so many what a fucking heater of a movie number one yeah i mean they don't make a lot of movies like they don't make a lot of gangster movies anymore right you know what i also thought of but there is a guy who is writing movies like that and this guy <laughs> these guys <laughs> right here yeah, that's have right. a couple of movies that are like that in the pipeline. In the pipeline <laughs> would love to get them made. <laughs> we would really enjoy getting these made. We would love some shackles being tossed our way. And if you also want, want to sponsor the, the TV I'm show, we look, would... I, you and I have watched every single TV comedy sitcom and gangster movie probably nine quadrillion times right oh, yeah. quote for quote <laughs> right all of them just all, all of them. them all kinds all the classics all the hits all, all the hits <laughs> yeah. and all the hits. it is our dream to make our own we want to be the cohen brothers times 10 sprinkle in the uh, I just want to be at a place where I don't care about the money and the fame and shit. I, I just want to be at a place TV where shows and movies. 
Well, look, you just have to be at a quality level to where people keep coming back to you for your next thing, right? So yeah. I just want to be able to make our projects and have them be good enough so that we can do another one. Yeah. Right? I so. just love a studio where we can just pump out shit nonstop because I got so many. I look, you got to like perform date. each time, right? Yeah. That's the thing about this game. And that's the thing a lot of people don't understand. It's like you get a shot, it, okay, but that shot ma makes it to if you get another shot. Yeah. And then that shot makes it to if you get another shot, right? Like you don't get a lot of misses. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. So. But I think I got, so, I want to create a Dave Chappelle thing with the skits. I have so many great skit ideas. Like yesterday, just, just, yeah, we got, just, I got, got a great a one. Show. That uh, how about I got, got a great a, one for got a you? A bunch of sitcoms. I got a new skit I wrote. The two yeah. guys, one guy's helping his buddy fix the mower. Yeah. They're trying to put the belt on, and the uh, the guy like hand drew like uh, the directions on how like the belt goes. Yeah. And they're arguing about like the inconsistencies of like he's like, well, that's not where this is on the map. That's like so much higher, like. Like yeah. the accuracy, like they're getting into a full argument about the accuracy of the map. Yeah. Because they're trying to exactly. follow along. And he's like, well, that's here. He goes, no, it isn't. That's clearly you got to be like further back here. Like, like, yeah. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. I was up early just editing this script, checking it through and fucking was watching the Tour de France is on again. Oh simple. yeah, what, what stage are we at thing, today? Did I tell you where are we at today? Stage, I think stage fifteen of twenty one. There was Jeez. a big crash today. Oh really? Big crash, yeah, because it started raining, and at the you know when it starts to rain, the oils start to come out on the con on the cement concrete. Oh, right? those bikes have zero tread. Zero, like that kind of traction. It's like a it's like Not a NASCAR water. racing tire where it's like smooth. There's no like yeah exactly traction, traction for, for water. water. Yeah, you must no. it must be like ice skates. Like have you ever rollerbladed after it rained and how slippery it is? It's impossible because the wheels no tread. they're spinning <laughs> themselves. Yeah, well the wheels are spinning themselves and yeah. they're spinning and your foot is sliding side to side at the same time. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? So it's, it's impossible. like, like you gotta take double little slippery. tiny choppy steps or else you're going to just eat it. <laughs> you're just going to eat shit. Yeah. So that's what happened. I think they all just ate it. Yeah. There's a big melee, but they must change. They have to like change tires on the go. They like right? stopped the whole race. It was so bad. Oh, really? Yeah. They like stopped the race. They had like ambulances come like even the guys who were okay and didn't get into the full crash they just kind of like sat on the side yeah they just like kind of stopped the whole thing let like let ambulances come up and help the guys who like got hurt up in front you know yeah how many people uh, the whole the whole group it was like right at the beginning oh. the whole group that's yeah weird. the peloton delayed a day have they ever like pushed a day out uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure there's been like, you know, little bits of adversity throughout the race here and there throughout the years, you know, I, I just a... got in this year. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. All I, I know you. is what the documentary told and what I'm watching right now. <laughs> I did about uh 40 minutes of research with a documentary. So that's all. I'm yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I watched about eight episodes of a documentary and have watched this race. Okay. So I have, that's my knowledge base. <laughs> I'm Speaking an of documentaries, <laughs> uh, the quarterback documentary, have you watched it? Oh my God. Shannon and I just started that one. I'm on episode one. It's awesome. It yeah. It's me I think so we're hard for two, hard knocks. Three, or three. Yeah. It's basically like hard knocks bonus. Yeah, it's like the right. it's like my entree or uh, yeah. what's the thing? It's my appetizers before my like appetizer the main course. For hard knocks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get eight episodes and then knocks. you're like, yes, it leads me right into hard knocks. I'm fired up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, get an episode appetizer. of that going, and then you go right into hard knocks. It's like the greatest night. <sighs> Just gets my dick hard. I love hard knocks, <laughs> and they're doing the Jets. And they're doing the Jets. How a great a, a Ron. Call is that? 
A. That was the A-Rod. best call they. That was the best call they ever made. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck all these other dog shit teams they throw on. I don't watch. give a shit what fucking the fucking O and a hundred fucking Raiders Chicago Bears do. are doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I saw the seconds. yeah right. I, I saw the quote from Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I'm like going through that, the roster trying to get the team to do terrible. Who sucks? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just bury a city real quick. <laughs> <laughs> just quickly destroy. The Let whole me city just of ruin Chicago a fan base. <laughs> because I was looking for a life raft. <laughs> <laughs> so you get no views from Chicago so now. Now we can't go to Chicago because. I <laughs> Skipping on a joke. Hey, Justin Fields, can you sign my ball? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Hey, didn't you shit on me once? No. (laughs) Now I can't have deep dish for the rest of my life. (laughs) Now I'm out of pizza. (laughs) Hey, Justin Fields, can you sign my ball? Didn't you shit on me? No. Yeah. That was the other guy. (laughs) I mean, do you think they're going to get that thing going over in Chicago? Maybe. Weren't they talking about indoor field over there now? Yeah, they're all fucked up. Like the city, it too is struggling. <laughs> Great city. Team is struggling. Yeah. <laughs> they have no one, and they don't even have a field anymore. Because they're like moving I think out. they're going indoors, and everyone's bullshit. That's right? Tough. You got to keep it the Windy City. I mean, those That's games... the whole thing. Everybody's pissed off about the tradition and the nostalgia. Well, yeah, it's like a kicker's like nightmare those that ball like when they kick field goals it looks like a soccer ball when they kick it and it like curves and then goes in you know what i mean but you may as well be in fucking antarctica okay <laughs> playing a game you ever okay? see it when doesn't game... matter that you're in chicago because it feels like the middle of nowhere <laughs> yeah, it feels like fucking antarctica literally who that gives wind, a shit that you're in that chicago place has you gotten seen those games? battered over the winners i feel so bad it wasn't like minus 55 oh a couple for yeah, like a not week only there. Do they get shit winners, Sam? But because of that water, they just get <sighs> hammered with fucking that water snow. rips off the lake, that and water, it's so cold. <laughs> when we went there for work, I got to you sit on that lake. <laughs> Holy shit! It is windy. <laughs> <laughs> It is the windy city. <laughs> yeah, I can see why they get the name. <laughs> yeah, this all makes sense. Yeah. Huge, bold, fanny, huge fanny it's pack, 85. huge visor. <laughs> <laughs> it's 85 that, and sunny. Really? Because it feels like it's 60. <laughs> if you had to build the ultimate tourist outfit, head to toe, all-star edition, what are you like... The most I did cliche. It. I did it. I went to, Shannon and I went to Disney, right, Disney World, I think, for the first time. Yeah, we wore that and big I did, duck I hat wore the, thing. I wore the complete <laughs> tourist asshole outfit. I had, are you ready for this? I had yeah. Timberland boots on. Yeah. Okay. I had, I think they were USA socks up to my up to my <laughs> my cat. <calves. laughs> Okay. No, it gets better. You ready? Yeah. Then I had a pair of jorts. A pair of jorts on. Oh, baby. That were handmade. I made them. <laughs> okay. What'd you do to make them? With scissors Frey. and all. <laughs> With Frey. Frey. I got a okay. Frey guy. <laughs> then let's keep going. You ready? Then I had the Dare backpack. Okay. The fanny pack. <laughs> Straight fanny from the pack 80s. From, yeah. A Dare fanny pack on. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I, I love that get up. One slight little uh, amendment to the whole outfit. Those Tims, a little more respectable. Uh, do you know those really well, fucking I mean, pussy the thing shoes about the Tims that like. They're going to get you. They're going to get you through any terrain. <laughs> they're an all terrain shoe. <laughs> yeah, I really trust the durability of the Timberland. It's, uh, it's like it's got four wheel drive. It's got all wheel drive. Timberland's got four wheel drive. <laughs> It's got all of the, it's got chains on the wheels if you need it. <laughs> it will get you through the hardest winters okay. ever. Deep grooves, deep grooves oh, rubber. Deep grooves. Okay. And the rubber Sit, doesn't like wear out either. It just sitting stays. On a, yeah, sitting on a four inch rubber stack. <laughs> Sit yeah. four inches above water. I'm, I'm right. nice. <laughs> With deep groove traction. 
with deep groove traction and no hydroplaning when I walk. <laughs> right. I will take a Timberland in any situation, <laughs> any territory. You have to be ready for any situation. And the I don't care where you're at. He's and a four season shoe. You can wear it relaxed with the <laughs> lo- with the laces loose. Or uh, if you gotta get if you gotta mean business, you can huff those bitches up. And they are you running. Know? They're running. They can put them in sport mode. Those things Look, can run. You can put them in sport mode. <laughs> you can get that lace all the way up to the ankle. Tight, like a hockey you can boot. run pretty fast in Tim's. Okay. It's basically like a military boot. <laughs> Deep groove traction. It's a four season shoe. I can't shoe. stress that enough. <laughs> Deep groove, baby. Deep groove. Deep groove yeah. traction. I got another little all season shoe for you. You know those really pussy shoes that have like, it's like a half sandal, but the toe has a cap on it and it's like a string that you like pull to tighten. <laughs> I think Jack was wearing them. <laughs> oh my God. No, I don't think I've ever seen them. Oh, all right. Wait, are they the ones with like the shoe? Have you seen the shoe? With like, all the toes, the shoe yeah, that's like your I foot. Hate, I fucking hate those with people so badly, dude. Have you they ever? They always go to the gym. They always stretch. They don't touch any weights, and they got those stupid feet shoes. <laughs> dude, I have to get a pair of those. I, I have hate to try. those people. I hate those I people so hard. I don't care about Every the clientele. Toe. I want to know about the product. <laughs> I want to see if it's comfortable. <laughs> have you ever used the product? No, I just I no. see the person okay. using you it, and I already know. Product you never even used it before. So these shoes, they're kind of like a sandal, but they have slits. Like it's not a full fabric, right? Someone's cut okay. grooves into the shoe, and the yeah. cap is plastic, and it's got like oh. a little band you just pull up to tighten, and you can like. I don't think I've ever seen that. I would never wear something with that little oh. support. Oh, yeah, baby. You, it's kind of like, you know those like hiking shoes that people always, like those people that shop at Patagonia always wear, you know? They're like those hiking boots, but they try to wear them out and make them look stylish. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that, but with huge slits in them. So like, okay. It's like a sandal, almost like a Birkenstock. Okay. Yeah, I think I kind of know what you're talking about. It feels like maybe a poetry reading situation. Yeah, I hate these people. <laughs> I have a huge bone. I want to try the feet shoes. The feet shoes can blow me. <laughs> <laughs> Sam doesn't like the feet shoes. I hate the owners of the feet. He's never I even hate. Used the product. I hate the owners of the feet shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you got to use the product. If I I, I can't because um, if I oh, like it, I'll you be pissed. Want to know what my new obsession? My next new obsession is. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go obsession for obsession. I got one too. I bet you'll uh, okay. be blown away by. My next new obsession is a sport. What is it? Fuck, we might have the same one. I have gotten locked into F1 racing. Okay, different. I got a different one. F1 okay. racing, sweet. Did you watch that? Uh, ne- another Netflix heater of a documentary. So I got hook, line, and sinkered hardcore. Netflix documentary, F1 Drive to Survive, it's called. The craziest Everybody part is, it. I'm always like, when I discover this shit, I'm like, where has this been all my life? Bitch, it's been out for like ever. You're like just too stupid years. to fucking yeah, turn forever. on the channel. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, I'm no, into cycling now. Here. I'm into ba- I'm into fucking F1 racing now. Like, it's unreal. Yeah. The, the Netflix documentary thing is definitely the way to go if you need to get some information out. Quick. Just make a documentary and sell it to <laughs> And if it's half decent, people are going to find out about it. Oh, the sports yeah. documentaries, that is at an so all-time high So the F1 Drive right to now. Survive is basically like hard knocks for F1. Did you see how crazy the, not only Lots the travel schedule... But, like, how they get shit from place to place. They have kits that they just send out all over the world to be yeah, set up ahead of time. This is where the teams live. You've got Ferrari there. You've got Mercedes behind me. And in what is a piece of fantastic understatement, they're referred to as motor. Isn't that Nuts. crazy? Nuts. Like they, they have move like-, like a whole... Each team is like, okay, so they have 10 teams, 20 cars... Each team is like a whole circus of a group. The big trucks on this side of the paddock, these deliver the cars to the pits with all of their spare parts. Yeah. And they have 10 circuses at one circus location. They, did you see Red Bull? They race Bill. 23, they race, I think, 27 or 29 races. 
They're on all over the world, something like 17... Every continent, pretty much. Seven, yeah, seven con six continents, 17 countries, like crazy stuff. Cra and the There's races travel are schedules, explosive. Nuts. They, oh, yeah. The races are explosive. They basically yeah. have guys that work for NASA just strapping this engine onto a car. The storylines are awesome. The The racers are like have the greatest swagger of any pro Dude. athlete around. They're like Lewis Hamilton's fighters. a fucking baller. <laughs> yeah, Lewis Hamilton may be like the coolest dude on the planet. Not just the coolest racer, but like just the coolest guy. And the craziest like, part is, what's he like, 50? I've just discovered him. <laughs> no, he's not 50. He's like 27 or something, 28. But that's old for a racer. Or he's, get, yeah. he's getting up there for a racer. I thought he's like in his 30s because he always talks about retiring. I'm not sure. But the next guy, the next guy is Max Verstappen. He's the guy who's said to be like the next big guy. Have you seen? They build their headquarters at the races. They ship the headquarters yeah, out. That's what I'm build talking it. about. When and I say then, circus, I mean circus. Each ha, one is like. How about the fucking own, fact that they repaved they like Vegas? They who repaved are all hooked up to headsets and shit. They repaved Vegas for their own track. Yeah. <laughs> the that's track. the type of cash they're just tossing around big money right so you got like ferrari <laughs> mercedes red bull aston martin renault haas these are like all the major teams and then remember oh remember when we got the sports cards oh yeah the shit, F1, and we had that. no idea who the guys were yeah now we know who they are you ready this yeah. so this Didn't we get out a we yeah, got a Lewis ready? Hamilton this turns card. out it was like the greatest deck ever. You ready to find out? So yeah. Kevin Magnuson, he's good. Esteban Ocoin, he's, he's good. good. Nicholas Lofty, good. Pierre Gassi, remember he had the buddy who died? Yeah. Okay, Lewis you know Hamilton. The crazy part is we opened that up, what, like a year ago? And now a full circle. Ago. We're like yeah. in the F1. <laughs> Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen, McLaren, Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, oh, George Russell, he's sick. Sick. Sebastian Vettel, sick. We got a Red Bull card we didn't even know. Yeah. We got a Ferrari card. Another Esteban Ocoin, Valtteri Botas, Pierre Gasly. Oh, Landon Norris. Now I know who he is. Hello. He's unbelievable. Daniel like Ricardo, the, the super funny Aussie, remember? Yeah, he's awesome. He's the best. We have his card. He makes the show. Carlos Sainz. Hello. So he's the guy who's with Ferrari. Yeah. Right? He's super good. Lance Stroll, he's the guy whose dad at the pink cars, yeah. remember? <laughs> we have a so we have That's his crazy. card. How crazy is that? Yeah, we got all those cards in one deck, and we had no idea. That's crazy. So we are big F1 guys. That is now Huge. on the list of so live that's what we're events doing now. we have to go see one of. Which one would you rather go to, Miami or Vegas? Those are the only two in the United States? I think so. I'm not sure. I think they have a I couple still have more. To, like, I'm still getting into it. Like, I'm still, like, yeah. I mean, I would go to either one. Yeah, you can't miss. But either place would be unbelievable. That would be fucking nuts. It's crazy. Imagine going shit. to an F1 race, Sam. The craziest part is it is shut down cities, build the fucking, build the fucking thing, and then yeah. just take off. <laughs> That's People the go, type of money you have. I love it. Yeah. And, and it's such I'll a baller way. It makes NASCAR look like rednecks. <laughs> I'm going to give people a little bit of a of a of a heads up tip if they don't know anything about F1. The start of the race, can you can have like the biggest crashes you've ever seen at the start. Nuts. Yeah, Nuts. the start of the race is like really crazy. <clears throat> the whole thing. Start, I mean, they're like astronauts out there. They're going like insane speeds. Yeah, on a kite. <laughs> when those things take off, like when they get airborne, they just oh fly. Oh my God, spinning. It literally looks like a paper airplane. Like all the lift just goes. They should. I 
Hot Wheels should make F1 cars. And now for something completely different. So here's a football. Football team tag that you can put on your backpack. It's like a little action figure. Football action figure. Sick. Which team do you want to get? Patriots. Which team does the audience think uh, that we will get? Why don't you take a write poll it in the comments below, or not? Just keep Click it to yourself. Click the fucking like link, you asshole. Yeah, or just keep it to yourself like a normal person. <laughs> yeah, or just keep it inside. How about that one? <laughs> what do you? What do you? What team do you think we're gonna get? We're probably right. gonna get Chicago. Oh my god. Oh, right. that would happen too. After throwing that, that out in the would universe. Be the greatest thing on the planet. <laughs> If we got Chicago. I bet it's like Chicago, Minnesota, or like Dallas. Some of the some of the there's, shitty oh, there's uh, a mis there's a there's a mystery one that you can get. Is there really? Yeah. It's an all neon blue Derrick Henry. Okay, that would be sick. Yeah, that'd be sick. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Chicago bound. <laughs> Chicago bound, baby. Ooh, we got the Panthers. All right. Knew it. I knew it was going to be some bullshit team they had too many of. Who's number eight? All right, that's not bad. Panthers are Not bad, not bad. Shout out to Cam Newton. Shout out, Cam. Put it right there. Up on the action figures. <coughs> I'm bummed we didn't get Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who number eight is. <coughs> <coughs> All right, the next one is basketball team. Let's go. And the rare figure that you can get here is a metallic gold LeBron James. Kind of cool, but fuck LeBron. I like LeBron. I like him off the court. He makes what me team do you want? Train get? wreck. What's, uh, what's I kind of want to get. I would Boston. like. I would like Boston or John Morant. <laughs> yeah, or John. Ready? We got Washington. Ah, oh, great. Dust. Who's Dust. Number Although it's Kuz. He's good. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. Kuz was good. Kind of dust, but okay. Oh, well, two. the Wizards are kind of not great. I feel bad for Chris Paul. He got sued. Yeah. All right, here's another basketball one where you get a locker. That's kind of cool. Where are you finding yeah. these? Target? Yeah, Target. They're like in the little, they're in a toy section in the front. They're like a buck 99. Fuck yeah. They're, I, they're your cool. Target's so sick. I went to ours yesterday. I yeah. couldn't find any, they didn't have any little mini Funkos. They didn't have any of those things. <laughs> well, I'm in Atlanta. Time, I'm in a major I've, city. Every time I fucking go to our Target, it's empty. It looks like it gets just obliterated nonstop or they don't stock it. You got to know the other. manager and find out when the new stock arrives. I don't think there's new stock coming in this one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, I don't like an apocalypse new stock coming. when people run through and try to get all the supplies. That's what it looks like every time I walk in. <laughs> Yeah. yeah All right, got, you ready? We got. I hope we get watching this. Side note: Have you been watching the new Sunny? What? Have you been watching the new Sunny? No, not yet. Oh, it could be their best season yet. Oh, you get a mini bench. That's kind of fun. Okay, you ready? Oh, they're in little mystery cases. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it. You get three of them. So you get three lockers? Yeah. That's cool. Now I gotta figure out how to open this little thing. Yeah, break it. <laughs> I'm sure I don't want to break it open. Okay, here we go. You ready? First one. Oh, yeah. Let's see. First one. He opened these are kind of cool. He it's opened like the little door, right? <laughs> First one is Dame Lillard Portland. Oh, Let's that's a collectible. Go. That's Let's a collectible. Go, Dame Lillard. They're so He's small. headed to I Miami. Had, yeah, they're so small. I had to like look like this to see. <laughs> Get a magnifying glass. Yeah, where is Dame going to go next year? 
Miami, he where, said. Where, you think he's going to go to Miami? Has it been decided? No, but I think he's been choosing Miami. He tells him. He wants he to go Miami, but they're trying to like find out what his value is for other teams, and then they're going to go to Miami, right, and say this is what we want for him. Maybe like a three-way trade. I'd love to see like a Houdini move where they just fucking yeah he ends up on the Celtics. <laughs> yeah, Celtics. Yeah. All uh, right, you ready for the next one? Let's go. Box two. Box two. We got a. Let me again. They're so small. It takes me a second to see. Oh my god! They're really that small. Jesse's struggling to read the James right. Harden. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that James fro. <laughs> no beard, James Harden. <laughs> no beard. Yeah, that's a no beard. This is a Houston James Harden. Yeah, still, he had a beard. <laughs> no beard, James Harden. No beard, James Harden. I can't Harden. believe how, yeah, I can't believe how small the writing is. All really right, mailed it three, in with ready? the features. <laughs> yeah. And he number has an app. Number three is from yeah. Who the hell is that? Get your magnifying glass out. <laughs> Seriously, they're so small, Sam. They're that squished together. Take a the photo of it so and enlarge it. That's what she said. <laughs> this is a uh, LeBron James. Let's go. Oh, that looks hey, nothing like See how why, small they are? Can you, can you why see does LeBron like have a right goatee? <laughs> I don't know. But can you see how tiny this is? Yeah. F for presentation. That looks nothing like LeBron. How can you even see it? I can see his it's face. The size of my eyeball. I can see it just fine from here. Looks nut. That was a goatee, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sniped it. See, I can see that shit right from here. That looks nothing like LeBron. Well, you know, they're so tiny. I don't even know how detailed they can get. <laughs> What are they, Legos? No, it was they're action figures. That, but you know what they on are? That bench? They're, you can put them on the top of a pencil, like a, a Bic pencil. Eraser? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how small they are. So they would stick on top of your eraser. Okay. And my oh. last thing we can do is we got the new women's NWSL soccer cards. Let's go. New year, new us. Okay, so how about this? One of my buddies hey, World Cup, that sorry. I do the one of my buddies that I do the football stunts with. Mm -hmm. Okay. He is dating a girl named Denise O'Sullivan. Nice. And she's on the Irish national team. And nice. she plays for the Charlotte team, the Charlotte women's professional team. That's sick. So Sam and I are just getting into <clears throat> soccer football whatever you call it and we're just getting into the women's soccer and so we know a little bit but just we don't started know a whole to dip lot. our toes into the soccer realm yeah you know we're just Rexham. learning after watching one Wrexham season i was hooked <laughs> yeah so i hope we get a denise <clears throat> o'sullivan card that would be sick right because i'm gonna sick. call him okay Alana Cook, she's actually pretty good. Sweet. Janine Becky, Nichelle Prince, she's really good. How about Sophie World Cup Ch women's soccer the starting? Yeah, that's why we're looking for women's World Cup players. Sophie Schmidt, Ryan Gears, Shout out to USA. Megan Klingenberg, she's good. Kristen McNabb, Haley Mace, she's really good. Sophie Jones, rookie, she's good. Brittany Eisenhower, Carson Pickett. 
Oh, here we go. Taylor Smith. That's Black and sick. white reflector card. You see that? That's sick. New York Gotham. That's unreal. That's a sick card. Isn't that a sick Put design? that in the old plastic. Yeah, that's going right in the old plastic. Decker in the old plastic shield. Yeah. All right. Haley Bouasia. That's a pretty cool card, too. Reflector purple. I love the their cards. Do they still have the barcode? Yeah, the their design. I, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Parkside Cards and the NWSL. Their card designs are always it. so sick. Here's a black. It. They do sick black and white cards. Here's a black and white Tyler Lucy card. That's so sick. Looks like a vintage card. Yeah, I know. All right, here's a rookie Alexis Bantra card. That's pretty good. Reflector. Oh, Rose Lavelle. That's a big card. That's a big GT. one. Here we go. Sick. Kyla Fisher rookie card, pink reflector. How you darn. That's an awesome cool. kit. That's a great right? uni. That checkerboard and a uni. Cool card. Yeah. Unreal. Javel Howell. Mallory Swanson. Amanda Kowalski. Hey, That's how you doing? Oh, here's another one. Kiki Pickett. You really good card. Pick up. Oh, here, here we go. Sydney Larue. Here he is. Hey, hey. Million dollar USA card. Let's go. She is sick. She is. She's great. so good. Sydney Larue. Yeah. Our woman really, really is good. nasty. Naomi Germa. That's a big Let's card. Oh. And Andy Sullivan and Emily Sonnet. All right. Well, we didn't get a Denise Sullivan card, but we got some huge USA cards in there. That Sydney LaRue is huge. And the, how about the designs, right? The Taylor Unreal. Smith card. Unreal black and white card. That was such I'm, a sick I'm impressed. Black and white. I thought this was America. Huh? Isn't this America? I'm sorry. I thought this was America. I missed a toy in a bag. Are you ready? Yeah, let's see it. It's a miniature action figure, three five gallon Gatorade tub. <laughs> you see that? Awesome. What was that in the locker thing? <laughs> yeah. Can you see it? <laughs> That's it so looks, cool. It's like, yeah, it actually it's looks like got the a five gallon Gatorade. <laughs> That's awesome. This is the greatest action figure that I own. <laughs> That's almost like the little traffic cones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except it's something we love and use all the time. Shout out to Gatorade, one of my Shout favorite drinks ever. If you guys want to sponsor us, we'll take a little action off the tap. <laughs> That's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, food reviews, local big time edition. Food reviews. This is where Jesse and I search high and low for some of the rarest finds, best snacks for your Rare weekend. Rarest snacks and You're newest welcome. snacks. welcome. And newest snacks for the people, by the for people. For the people, by the people. Snack, <laughs> Snack review. We're going to be here telling you if the How new it is. Snack is worth your money or not the le if the lemon or if it's worth just the squeeze <laughs> or if it's a gimmick and we have no sponsors so we have an unbiased opinions <laughs> we are wide open on sponsorship <laughs> and if you want to sponsor us to fluff up your numbers what door is wide open <laughs> door open open <laughs> all right you ready yeah Okay, this is a company I've been eyeing down to do a review on. It's called Liquid Death. Oh, yes. I've always been so curious about that. Yeah. So Liquid Death is uh, water in a can, and the cans look like uh, beer. They sort of look like beer cans. They have a flaming skull on them, right? And it sort of looks like a beer can. I'm a it big is fan of genius design. marketing. Yeah, the liquid death. Right? I know. Great marketing. Everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. Everyone's drinking it. And I now want to see what the hype is about. 
So I, too I have their two. The best. Yeah, I have their two newest flavors. Okay, got, one is called. So it's water, flavored water. <laughs> it's flavored sparkling water. Ooh, refreshing. They also have just regular flat water too, but I grabbed the Do sparkling they really? one. Yeah, they're regular flat flavored. Water. Yeah. Is there caffeine in it? No, none of these drinks have caffeine in them. These are just oh. waters. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. It's like uh have you ever seen like a like a seltzer water, polar seltzer or a LaCroix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a LaCroix, but it's like two LaCroix. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right, so <clears throat> this one's Bury It Alive and the other one's Convicted Melon. Which one do you want me to try first? Barry McAconner. <laughs> All right. Bury it alive. Here we go. Liquid death. Bury it alive. I love the portion size. I love the whole. Oh, smells art. delicious. Man, this is like a great artwork on the can. Oh, wow. That is really good. What's it taste like? Ah, this is genius. They put so okay, so it smells like like berries, okay? Yeah. But they put a little bit of agave nectar in here, so it's kind of sweet. Like a like a the very 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 touch of sweet. And it's bubbly though, right? Bubbly Her. water that's a little bit sweet though. It's got like you know what I'm saying? It's like if yeah. they put like three or four drops of honey in there. It's Get really the good. I going. love it. Uh-oh. Dangerous. I may be I may be hooked. Hooked right from the sip. These are really good, Sam. At least this one is. Murder your thirst. Is it supposed to be thirst quenching? Yeah, liquid death, murder your thirst. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a 9.7. Hey, oh, that's a high one. It's... All right, and let's try the convicted <laughs> melon. That's the red one. I love the names. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Hello. Oh, like smells like color. melon. First thoughts, melon all the way. That one's also good. Tiny bit sweet too. Yeah, but it's like smells like melon. I'm gonna give that one a nine point eight. Oh, so it's better than the other one. We're gonna give Liquid Death. Should we give Liquid Death the money gun? Hit it with the money gun. Liquid Death gets the money gun. <laughs> that money gun's sick. Got jammed. Hold on. <laughs> I can edit it. <laughs> dollar bill got jammed in there. Yeah, a little dollar bill jam. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> that Just thing's money. sick. Money gun is in play. Now I got to pick how it all up. How much? <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> I gotta pick all this money up everywhere. Well, <laughs> well, while you pick all that shit up off the ground, I'll start yeah, with my what's little. Yours? Uh, I got two liquids, no solids. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> first up in the barrel. Oh my god, dude! There's so much fucking condensation. While I reload thing. the money gun. <laughs> while I reload the money gun. Maverick, come here, bubbles. So I got. Sunkiss came out with a little uh, flavor here. I'm interested. Cherry. I'm very interested. I, I am. Some. Ears are perked, baby. Ears are I perked. I am interested. I am interested. Sunkiss. Cherry limeade. Cherry limeade. How you dern? How you dern? How, How you are dern? you? How are you? How are little you? Little mozzarella. Oh, little mozzarella. How you dern? <laughs> so I love... Sunkiss grape. I have high expectations for this. This is my first soda right. in a long time. And I, I fucking open really want to hit Sunkiss with the money gun, so I'm hoping oh, it's good. It could six, be what, what are the rules for the money gun? You have to be 
above what a nine point three to get the money gun? Hmm. Above I'd a nine five or above nine, a nine? Above a nine five, you get the money gun because it's got to be nine five and above. You get we the can't money gun. just be rocking that thing for eight. We can't <laughs> just be spitting the money gun out for anything. Yeah, it's got to have value to it. It's got to have yeah consistency and value. <laughs> This smells like a Shirley Temple. Oh, all right. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Oh, baby. This has Shirley Temple written all over it. Yeah. I love. I love. Money gun. Money gun. Are we in money gun territory right We're now? in money gun territory because if you Give me like... Review. If you I like Shirley Temple's... Gun, right? If you like Shirley Temples, this is identical to a Shirley Temple. I give it a 9.6. Oh, my God. Oh, Money gun. <laughs> Put a little six on it. <laughs> uh, let me spread a little six on that action. Hey, how you doing? Money gun territory. Oh man, if I wasn't on a I've been so good on this diet. I can't. Here's the thing, Sam. Money. Once we level up this show, we have to get local big time money guns need, and but money with local our big faces time on it. money <laughs> yeah. that goes in the money gun. <laughs> yeah. We, we paint that blue. <laughs> I'm sure we could just call the company and get a custom one made. There's gotta be Fuck that. Go online, I'm sure. This one will be the so. OG, and then we'll each get blue ones. It's kind of like the part one, like you, when you see like the history of basketball, and they show you it's like a fucking peach basket. That's like that yeah. green one, and then like the yeah. blue ones when we come up with the glass back. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, all right, I got a second one here. Right. I don't know how this company's going to be. I love the simplicity of it. It could be just a no-name company. Oh, All they right. do have some uh, social media, so I want to respect the respecter. Tag it out. Tag it out. Hey, Joe at JoeT.com. Hey, All right. Is it coffee? Joe. It is T. Hashtag Joe T. Love the name. So we got Raspberry Joe T. I see this shit everywhere in the local, like, Mom and pop gas stations. Never seen okay. the commercial ones, so I'm curious to know how love local it. this really is. I love a I local. Love, oh, I love a nice tea, and I love a raspberry tea. So don't let me down, Joe T. Mon Upper Montclair, New Jersey. Let's go. Hashtag Joe T. Joe Tizzle. Joe Tizzle. Okay. Joe Tizzle's milk. soaking wet from all the humidity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can't can't grip her. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh, smells smells like your uh, typical raspberry iced tea. Kind of more like a um, oh, what's that Coke one? That's like their version of tea. Yeah. Like a gold Peak, uh, like a Gold yeah. Peak. Okay. Oh baby. Okay, that's that is completely unexpected. That is yeah. It's what like are we in? One what kind level, of range are we in? So it's got some carbonation to it. Oh, right? that's interesting. A little carb, kind of. Bubbles? Yeah, there's some carbonation to it. Bubbles. I do oh, taste wow. bubbles. Let's double check. <laughs> we don't know the technical term for it. We just call them bubbles. Yeah, we just call them bubbles. I don't know if it's the bubbles for me shaking it. But here, let me get a little close it up could here. Be. Tell me what that is. Those could be bubbles. You tell me, viewers at home. Is this yeah. carbonated? <laughs> I feel like it's carbonated. You can get a good view of those bubbles. Give us the flavor. Give us the flavor so, profile. What this flavor profile is like, you know what a brisk iced tea tastes like? Yes. Okay, this is one level below that. So it kind of tastes natural. It's not too much oh, bubbles. Oh, so like a, that's subtle good. Subtle bubbles. Yeah, because brisk bubbles. is kind of a steroided out iced tea. Yeah, it's like soda with tea. <laughs> right, exactly. 
Shout out Canada. That's not shout fucking out real Brisk. tea. I love yeah, shout out Brist. <laughs> shout out Canada. That's not real tea, you assholes. <laughs> That's my but favorite. Still thing. a delicious beverage. Still a delicious beverage. No, I used to crush growing not up. It iced tea, growing it's up, good. <laughs> those sleeves of Brisk iced tea in a can were unbelievable. Yeah, just like five hundred calories. Don't get me can. wrong. It's delicious, but it's not <laughs> real tea with tea bags like everyone yeah. Canada thinks. Exactly. Um, Okay, so it's one level below the brisk guy's tea. Subtle bubbles. Subtle bubbles, very sweet. Obviously, this like thing's it. probably got about north of a hundo in sugar. 59. Up oh, 60. Okay. 60. So it's four. sweet. Oh, it's it's sweet, all right. I'll be asleep all in right. about 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, what are you going to rate it? Unbelievable flavor, unbelievable taste. I would pound these all day long. Whip it out. Money gun. No. Money, Money gun. gun. <laughs> another six, another 9.6. Hey, Money Gun. <laughs> it's delicious, though. <laughs> Joe T, you bastards. You guys made a fucking delicious tea. This is really good. You would actually like this, Jesse. Yeah. I'll I'm try telling it. you, this is this is really good. Uh the only downside is I wish it wasn't just ninety nine percent sugar. <laughs> yeah, I honestly thought you weren't gonna give it over the nine point five because of the sugar. I didn't you know, want to. That, I didn't, didn't want to, but you know what? I can't I'm not you can't T- you can't it's almost like uh having a t- it's like a have trying to put an alligator in a zebra contest you know you, right. you gotta rate it on where you gotta it respect it for what it is exactly you can't compare it like right it's that's uh that's a league of its own so like you gotta play where it lies i saw right. the tea yeah. i'm comparing it to brisk i like the brisk tea it's really good in that scenario but for health wise love- yeah Health wise, it's I a give brick it a, of sugar, but I love brisk. Yeah, health wise, I give it a one. <laughs> a one, yeah. Uh-huh. All right, I got um, a company here called Alani Gummy. Oh fuck yeah, I love their candy. Okay, and they have um, this bag is called Smoothie Flavors. So I've never seen gummies that oh, are smoothie flavor. Yeah, that's a first. What do we got yeah. for flavors? So you have uh, apple grape smoothie. Strawberry mango smoothie and mixed berry smoothie. 80 calories in this whole bag. How are you? I'm loving that. Oh, Health and the nut. rings. All of them rings? Yeah. Smells Smell. delicious. I usually, Alani knocks it out of the park. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah, I, t- I thought so. They're so consistent across the board. These are so good. Gluten free. Three grams of protein and one gram of fiber. Not You're bad. Regular after those bad Larry's. <laughs> yeah. You got my clean system. You're going to clean system here. Flavors are on point. I really like it. I'm going to give it a. Nine point two. Oh yeah, let's go. Solid score. Solid score. Solid score. Uh, any more candies? Yep. Oh yeah. This is one I'm, I'm actually really excited about. Okay, talking about iced teas. You know the company Honest Iced Tea. I feel like I have. What? Honest. With an H, right? Yeah, honest, and then they have the little T leaf attached to the T. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So they are now making organic gummies. Oh, baby. See the logo? Yeah. I love honest, actually. Now I remember them. I used to drink that shit all the time. It was delicious. Yeah. These are vegan gummies. 100 calories, organic. 
I'm always what? on the hunt. For, have you noticed how many tea companies gummy. have dipped their toes into the candy world? Arizona, yeah, Arizona. iced tea, Making honest. It good. That. Ooh, that smells oh. good. So, they're smaller. Let me show you. They're like kind of smaller. Oh, yeah. they're like fruit snacks. Yeah, they're kind of like a fruit snack. Exactly. They smell pretty good. You ready? Oh, I'm dialed. Okay. Really good. Really good flavor. Okay, but I don't want to say but because this is not a knock on it. Um, there are two types of gummies in the gummy world. There are gummies that are like gummy bears that are chewy. Yeah. And then there are gummies that are more like gummy, but your teeth, they don't chew like a gummy. Their, your teeth kind of goes Boy. through it almost like a gum, like a gum drop kind of. Yeah. Yep. So these are Spot the on. gum drop type of gummies. Yeah. Whereas Different the other ones were more like a gummy bear. Right. Yeah. Believe me, no one's slipping fast ones by by us. <laughs> Nobody's slipping fast ones by us. <laughs> Do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> you don't think I know? So these are really great. Flavors are on point. Um, yeah, I like them. I show up with for a healthy gummy Pepsi. too. I'm really good. For the party. I'm gonna give it a nine point <laughs> one. Hey yo! Solid score. Solid score. Solid score. Honest, you do make great teas, though. By the way, I mean your teas are in the high nines. Oh yeah, very. Yeah. They're you're throwing ninety eights, baby. <laughs> it's hard to make healthy candy, right? The whole idea of it is that it's not yeah. healthy. So you have an uphill battle. Okay. It's yeah. It's tough. You've basically given sugar like a two-stroke lead. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like giving somebody, right, a handicap. <laughs> yeah. Here, sugar, have like a five-stroke lead, and then I'll try to compete against you <laughs> and see right. if I catch up. All right. Uh, let me go Last get one. my... Oh, you got another one? I got yeah, one more. All right, perfect. I got to go grab my... Uh... My list. My, I got another movie review for you. <laughs> oh my god, not this thing! Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so I have my last thing is a company that we love that I would really love. Oh, for you bastard! I would tattoo Petridge Farm on my chest. Petridge Farm. <laughs> I love beverage. Dude, I wanted to try those so badly. I saw those yesterday. These are the new Verona apricot raspberries. You bastard. You <laughs> bastard. You pulled Backed the trigger. I knew I was going to like them too much. That's why I couldn't buy them for the, for the show. Tom scooped them right up. I'm on a diet, so this section kills me. <laughs> I'm I'm always trying to be on a diet too, but I saw them in the section. <laughs> oh, and I had to, you're fucked, A new beverage buddy. farm, I'm grabbing a bag. You're fucked. You're I fucked. don't care I, if it says I, Pepperidge Farm new dog shit cookies. I'm eating them. <laughs> Heroin flavor. I'm eating yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm eating them. All right. Oh, my God. It's shortbread. Oh, good night. <laughs> Goodbye, chin. Okay. Perfect Pepperidge. amount of raspberry Pepperidge. to cookie uh, ratio. Oh, yeah. They don't miss. Apple ras. Here we go. He dipped that in milk. It's just like st on steroids. Yeah, I know it. That bag's gone. <laughs> See ya, diet. <laughs> I could eat a million of these. Oh, uh, yeah. See ya. See they're ya, They're so bag. good. And they're not <laughs> even that big. They're like this size. Oh, they're, they're like, like the this. perfect <laughs> size, too. See ya, bag. <laughs> 9.9 9. Money, money guy, let's money go. Guy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I love when you. I love the 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 guilt you get when you're just clearing that little piece of paper in between them. <laughs> you're clearing the tiny little yeah, piece of paper, paper towel divider. <laughs> it's basically there to tell me, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure you want to dive? These into are like another it's section? like meant like it's there to put mental brakes on you, like to, like to kind of stop you a little bit, like hey. You just you cleared something. you cleared a whole palette. You sure you want to move on to the next one? You sure you want to move on to the next batch? <laughs> and Cause... I am driving right through it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like crazy the craziest. I'm taking part my is, truck. And I want to ask someone right in the petrol the, the <laughs> <laughs> Like a car just blowing through a house. <laughs> That's what it is. It's me. <laughs> I want I to ask the people at Pepper's Farm. Paper towel yeah. in there. What the fuck is the purpose of that little piece of paper? I know what the purpose is. The purpose is to slow your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> it's like speed bumps on a school. Yeah, road. it's gonna be speed bumps in the school. <laughs> You're though. like going fifty, and you have to. Ah. I'm still doing fifty. <laughs> Let me stop you right there. Okay. And leave. Oh, I'm hey. down. I'm down at what, Sam. I'm down at one of the, the plateaus. <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck it. There's no reason for that fucking bumper ball bullshit. Okay, you could stack those cookies just fine. I don't need this fucking guilt trip bullshit you're throwing on me. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Sam's Movie Reviews. Sam's terrible movie reviews. 80s, yeah. That's actually uh, local big time movie reviews, reviews, but (laughs) yeah, Yeah, local big time movie reviews, working title, 80s edition. Terrible movie reviews. (laughs) Uh, These are these are spot on. Okay, Uh, the latest one that I watched this week, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh my God, Sam! That you should have already watched that like a hundred times. That's a classic. Yeah, I actually got it very confused with Weekend at Bernie's. I thought oh, they were the same movie. Oh, also great movie, but not yeah. as not as epic. Just started watching that, so next to a little sneak peek for next week. <laughs> yeah, Weekend at Bernie's is great. But. Yeah, I. Uh, All right, so Ferris so Bueller. All right, Ferris, Ferris Bueller's, Bueller's Day Off. I always thought this was Weekend at Bernie's, so I always thought the guy was dead in this movie. Oh but, my God. Uh, yeah, very. I kept waiting for the guy to be dying. I'm like, when is this guy that they carry around dead? That's going to happen. I'm like, this guy just keeps running around town. Are you living on planet Earth right now? <laughs> I thought it was the same actor, but boy, was I wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Ferris Bueller, Day Off. I wanted to hate this movie, but I just couldn't. Uh, the suspense just tugs at you throughout the entire movie. Uh, as he like evades his, uh, as he evades getting caught. I also like the Charlie Sheen appearance there, just like a little tucked tucked in, just being a badass. Yeah, like I was not expecting him to just be there. <laughs> yeah, and then also side note, Charlie Sheen, uh, that guy must have crushed puss in the eighties because okay, he is. We're not doing this with the fucking jokes. <laughs> I mean, how could you not? <laughs> what are you talking about? The guy was all over with the tiger blood and the prostitutes. We all know his backstory. <laughs> also, the uh, Ferris Bueller's girlfriend, she looks like the chick from Stranger Things that dates like Stevie. You know which one I'm talking about? One from the movie theater? I'm not a big Stranger Things guy. So, I've only seen like the first season. Well. I will be posting ah. side by side in the <laughs> and uh, they yeah. look identical. So <laughs> okay, I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah, we will. I don't know. Uh, Stranger is kind of ant for me. Yeah, it just kind of lost its fire. I just like the costumes and I like the eighty theme. Yeah, no, I think it's fun. But like the storyline, eh. yeah. Ferris Bueller, a plus. So yeah, back to enough of. Beating up Stranger Things for once, <laughs> boxing, boxing just Stranger Things around, throwing elbows at the Stranger Things. just boxing Stranger Things around for a minute. But uh, back to Ferris Bueller's Day Off. 
Uh, I loved it. I wanted to hate it the whole time. I really Why did. Why would you want to hate it? Because it just made me want to hate it, but I couldn't because it was what? so good. How could you want to hate that movie? It's about a kid trying to cut school. Because it's like kind of corny-ish, but it's awesome. It's unreal. All the movies. Let me, let me let you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to drop a life hack on you. All the movies are from the 80s are a little corny-ish. That's the yeah. 80s style. I guess so. I guess the technology and style. What's, right? what's the rating? <laughs> uh yeah addicting i couldn't put it down 9.0 9.0 not money gun though not money gun material you need a 9.5 to get the money gun. you need a 9.5 to get to have the rain dance put on you <laughs> you need a 9.5 to get green raindrops <laughs> <laughs> like nickelodeon slime just sitting like there with her own money printed slime. money with her own gun yeah, yeah, customized yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You got a you got a paper money guy? Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a paper money guy. You, we got to get wait, Patty's you, dollars. You too. give him we gotta money. Get a hold of that. You give him money to get fake money in we return. We give him real money to make fake money for us. <laughs> Why don't you just put the money in the gun? <laughs> give him real money to make us fake money <laughs> the logic doesn't seem to make sense here you know halfway through that sentence i knew we fucked up can we get a refund we up. <laughs> yeah we bought like two thousand dollars worth <laughs> well, that's a lot of money don't throw right that now, away maybe the greatest addition to the show <laughs> Next to the the greatest new addition to the show. <laughs> Next to the t-shirt gun that's on the uh, wish list oh for God. us. Oh my God, if I could afford a t-shirt, if I had any reason to own a t-shirt gun if right there's now, there's an I old arena it. owner out there but that has no a locker with a t-shirt well, gun. Like, I looked hoping, it up, it costs like two grand. Oh yeah, right? but I'm hoping there's like an old barn in Canada that once was like an EHL fucking team that just abandoned the rink and now they have a locker with like the mascot head and a t-shirt gun just sitting there yeah one has that going on bring it to us i don't think we're gonna get free t-shirt guns unless our show gets big enough to the point where the t-shirt gun company wants to like or a company that sponsor. sponsors us buys the t-shirt gun so we can use it yeah tell you what Next year at this time, when we do our 4th of July float, let's just put it out there in the universe. We will have a t-shirt gun by then. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, here's the thing. The, that's my thing with the money gun, the t-shirt gun. The, the, we don't have any use for a t-shirt gun right now. Like, I don't have anybody to the shoot float. at. When we yeah, I don't float, have anything to need. shoot at. Oh, 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 for the float. For the, Yeah, the yeah, float. okay. Yeah, for the 4th of July float. Humming t-shirts off that beast. Wait, I, I have a question. How are we going to do the 4th of July oh, yeah, float Steve's if we're doing the main plan. thing now for you? Really jamming my ass up. I guess we could do Memorial Day. Yeah, that's going to jam us up for the float. <laughs> that's going to jam us up for the float. <laughs> 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 I was really hoping for the float. <laughs> Really had my heart so. <laughs> I was so fired up for the Fourth of July flow. I was Memorial really Day. fired up for the flow. We didn't think that one through. <laughs> I was like Memorial Day just doesn't have the same oomph. No, uh, film it's us. Not Nothing. The same thing Fourth of July and local big time is America. Fourth of okay? July has that local feel to it. That really <laughs> takes it local over the big edge. time and Fourth of July in America. That's all you need. <laughs> How about this toy that I found in Maine? It's a miniature Pac-Man machine. The the one you got behind you. That's sick. To a T. How funny is that? (laughs) It looks exactly like the one that you have behind you. That is unfucking believable. It's so small. This is my finger. (coughs) How small it is. So scale. you have the big one and all of the miniature <laughs> one behind you. You want to know the best the best mystery thing about this is? What? This is actually a can of mints. That's awesome. Okay. No, but here's the real awesome thing. The mints themselves are little Pac-Mans. That's sick. Like tiny That's little Pac-Mans. That's so sick. Right? 
Isn't that cool? I want you to make a circular mint and just cut a pie out of it. And That's what I'm bam. saying. <laughs> I'm going to give you money to make these mints for us. So you guys Isn't that use cool? money to buy dollars <laughs> with your faces on them. You took real money and <laughs> gave it to him to make fake money. <laughs> I don't understand. By transferring all of our cash into these Patty's dollars and then printing more of these babies than we ever had in cash, we've upped our value. I have a sport that's I yeah, don't we'll fucking we'll believe. Yeah. Have you ever heard of bottle cap baseball? Yes. Only because, you know, on Instagram, I follow a lot of sports highlight channels. Obscure, obscure sports, obscure sports channel. channels. Yeah. <laughs> And, and I, I saw, saw these guys. Yeah, it's was it India? I have no idea where it is. I forgot what country it is. I, but I saw digging. these guys playing. I could not believe it. Sick. It's like wiffle ball I, and steroids. Two things. two things. One, I don't know how the guys can consistently pitch that bottle cap yeah. that fast that way. Like throw like it. How that way. raw your finger must be from just doing this. <laughs> I don't even know how they. But Sam, like. Anybody can flick a bottle cap. You, like these guys, they're throwing it like a baseball. Yeah, I know. Like I don't know how they okay, hit it. And the second so thing small. is, I don't know how in the world the guys hit the fucking thing. Yeah, it's like the it's size tiny. of a bee. It's like the, that would be like the greatest practice training thing in the world to like. I don't know how you even see it, Sam. It's so tiny. Like, it's so small. They're not and using they're razor like, thin. Yeah, they're not using like some big red biff. Uh, Biffle, wiffle ball bat. Yeah, right. Like, They're using like a wooden stick. Yeah, yeah, and literally a handle of a broom. It's crazy, crazy hand eye. Nuts, and the pitches are fucking even more ridiculous. They just like curve all the way out, and they full. They're going like eighty miles an hour, whipping it. It would take you like a year just to be able to throw the thing straight. Yeah, just to be able to throw the thing straight, and they're like. Picking where they want it to go, which is the crazy These guys are like part. doing maneuvers and shit. <laughs> like the dirtiest pitches you've ever seen. Yeah. If there is anybody out there who plays it, who wants to come on the show, we would love Doors to talk to you about it. are open. Love to pick yeah. your brain about it. That goes for all the sports. If there are any the sports. Tour de France bike racers. Hurling. Dave Pagacha, Jasper Philipson, Ben Eric, Bernard, any of those guys want to come on? We love it. Any F1 drivers want to yeah. come on? Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton. Love. Thank, Thank you. Max Thank you so it. much for accepting our yeah. invitation. <laughs> or if any baseball bottle cap players want to come on. <laughs> That's probably I, more. I can't range. name any of those. I, I can't name. And I can't currently guys. name any of those uh, players. But yeah, if any one of you guys but, want to come on, but you, you, I made you the joke yesterday about, yeah. about uh, being a Hall of Famer. It's like the school principal. He's like, "Hey, who's uh, we got a motivational speaker? He's in the Hall of Fame. Who's your favorite? Who do you think?" And everyone's like, "Michael Jordan." Like, "Yeah, well, he's not really in our budget, so we got you the next best thing. Here's some hamburger, guys." <laughs> <laughs> I had the best response. There is a guy on the movie set who is a um, a bodyguard, right? Yeah. For one of the actors, I'm not going to say who, but he was a bodyguard for one of the actors. And uh, he he is hilarious. We got like to be friends over the course of the movie. And I came back from the White Castle thing, <laughs> and he, and, I, and he's like, "What's this White Castle stuff?" And I'm like, "Yeah, me and my brother, I gave him the whole spiel." And he stops and he looks at me and he goes, "And you're proud of that?" <laughs> I, I was dying laughing. He's like this big dude from New York. He's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "And you're proud of that?" So funny. Yeah. Uh, my buddy huh. just got the head coaching job at Middlebury, and I texted him. I go, hey, listen, if you uh, need any Hall of Famers to drop the ceremonial puck drop, I'll do it for free for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody need any D3 puck drops? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll, uh, I'll do it for do pennies it for on free. the dollar. Everyone else, you're going to have to pay. <laughs> Norway? Uh hundred dollars <laughs> yeah i usually charge between 10 15 thousand 
I'll give you a hundred bucks. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. <laughs> <laughs> hundred bucks and hundred bucks and some free bucks. and some free snack bar dollars. <laughs> I want a free hat. I want the hot dog popcorn soda combo and a hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, we'll give you a hot dog and a hat. All right. Done. <laughs> like you go back to your school. You're like, I charge. Listen, I usually do a hall of fame pop <coughs> for about 10 grand. We'll give you a hot dog and a free hat. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I thought about doing that for like the high school. Just call them up and be like, I think you guys want your own per your own alumni, your own, your personal very own Hall of Famers. <laughs> Hall of Famers. I'd love to come. Yeah. I'd love to come. I charge between ten fifteen thousand. The best we can do is a hundred bucks. Yeah, and uh, lunch cafeteria pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for a meal in the cafeteria and a free hat. <laughs> you just get so bullshit. You go, they would never treat Tiger Woods this way. <laughs> never. <laughs> you would never treat Tiger this way. <laughs> you get, you're waiting in line for the cafeteria. <laughs> you're waiting in line at the cafeteria. <laughs> They would never make they tiger would, like they this. Would, what sort of booth do I have? <laughs> uh, we just have circular tables. We just got circular tables. <laughs> they would. They would never. Well, I guess <laughs> they would never treat Tiger this they way. Would never treat Tiger this ever, way. ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so gutless. <laughs> that was I. I man, now that we talk about it, like. We should do some motivational we speeches. We should do a puck drop at Essex High School. Uh, buddy, we need to do a circuit. <laughs> we just go. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do a circuit. <laughs> oh, buddy, we need to do a circuit. <laughs> we may want to start with our local high school. They may not even Let's want Let's see it. if they even give us <laughs> the green light. Even... The one our, what one our mean, mom... What do you mean? We want you. Your local high school doesn't yeah. want you to do it. You no, know, <laughs> it's just such bullshit. They don't treat you with respect. <laughs> Does your mom you know, work there? Yeah, I know. Once you right? get that, once you get that <laughs> Hall of Fame jacket, everybody just gets jealous. <laughs> everybody just gets so jealous. <laughs> everybody just gets so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, kids, I'm gonna stop you right there. What do you want to be when you grow up, doctor? Now, nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeseburger Hall of Famer. Come on. Seriously? Who the fuck wants to do that? You know, it's like seven years of school. Right? Just start shredding people's dreams. Shredding people's dreams. Oh, shredding people's legitimate dreams. All right. well, I, what do you want to be? You? You in the front, doctor? Come on, seriously. <laughs> I want to be a caseworker and help people. Oh my god, are you serious? That's so dumb. <laughs> you know how stupid that is? <coughs> That's the dumbest job. You don't want to do that. <laughs> next, next job. Good night. <laughs> what do you got? No, no, bad no, idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. What's your next, bad, what's your next one? Say, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Doctor. That's fucking, they're miserable. They, they like, don't you still live at your parents' house? <laughs> <laughs> don't you make a show out of your dad's face? <laughs> yeah, and I'm living my dream. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Hall of Famer, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, yeah, and I'm living my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and one of us has been on TV. Next question. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh <laughs> and my one god. of us was on Channel Five local TV. Next question. <laughs> yeah, and we've had articles written about us. Okay, thirty-second clip where they show you, you for two seconds. <laughs> they talk <Wise> about. It. <laughs> <laughs> I love it where they they do the interview. They basically carry the whole interview, and then they pan to you for four seconds. We go, hi. <laughs> yeah, I back. loved it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I love the burgers. Yeah, I totally to... thought it. Twenty minutes. I totally thought it. Yeah, we got out of there. <laughs> I totally popped. Well, for all of us here at Channel Four News, I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. And thanks for stopping by.